inquiry is at the center of our International Baccalaureate Primary Years program. With this in mind, this video will attempt to answer the question, what does a PYP unit of inquiry look like? A unit of inquiry encompasses so many areas of learning for our students, including the learner profile, transdisciplinary themes, and the essential elements of the written curriculum. To narrow down the scope of our video, we will look at the key concepts, collaborative nature of the planning, and examples of student learning projects for the Grade 2 Weather Unit. An additional component of the Weather Unit is the Library and Instructional Technology Partnership that supported the students in researching their weather topics while also empowering them to use digital technology to share their understanding. This Information and Communication Literacies ICL, curriculum supports many of the learner profile attributes including inquiry, knowledge attainment, and communication. Another important aspect of this unit is the cross-disciplinary -dis learning including art, science, math, and language arts. The intended audience for this production is the parents of our students along with educators interested in learning more about the PYP as well as our Information and Communication Literacies ICL program. All right, so here we are with uh, Claire Beanie and Kate Panarski, two English teachers in our second grade, who led out on this unit of inquiry about weather. So, Claire, could you tell us a little bit about the learning goals for this unit of inquiry? Sure. Uh, so this unit on weather fits into the transdisciplinary theme of how the world works. So we were exploring how the world works through weather. And our central idea was that uh, weather varies and that these variations influence the way that we live. Uh, so to kind of unpack this, our uh, lines of inquiry were we were inquiring into what weather is, what weather is, what weather is like. Uh, so the form of weather. Uh, we were inquiring into how weather works, so the, um, how, it, how it forms, how it builds, how it subsides, and then finally um, causation, so how weather affects uh, people, the earth, animals, so forth. Excellent, excellent. All right, Kate, this was a very much a transdiscipline unit from ICL to art, and the, the kids just loved what they were doing and being creative. Could you share some aspects of that for us, please? Yep, so in English class to start with, we studied a lot of different types of weather, and the children were so enthusiastic about the unit that they delved into the specific different parts of weather, so they all chose a weather that they were really excited about, and they researched that type of weather, they used, um, they wrote paragraphs about that, so they really enhanced the writing skills, they researched out of books, collaborated with the library where they used databases, they looked at videos in ICL and then in art they made beautiful impressionist paintings about their type of weather and they brought all of this together and made a wonderful ebook where they got to record their voices and really project what they'd learnt about their extreme weather. And one of the neat things as someone who helped collaborate with this was your leadership and the way that you connected to the art teacher and you connected to the ICL teachers to bring us all along and helping with the rubric, uh, keeping the communication going on how the, the students were doing, and it was just a fantastic unit. So thanks for your leadership. It's very much appreciated. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And now they have this great, this great artifact to, to share their, to share their learning. So thank definitely, you. Definitely, definitely. The planning for the weather unit began with a meeting of the four grade two teachers, the PYP coordinator, the assistant principal, and the librarian representing the ICL team. It was decided that one aspect of the unit would be to have the students do research using online databases as shown here with Pebble Go to find information and to take notes. The Pebble Go database presented the students with images, videos, and text highlighted and read to them thus supporting the Universal Design Principle, UDL, of presenting information in multiple ways. A graphic organizer was created with the key concepts for the unit listed to provide the scaffolding for note-taking. 
The teachers reviewed the options for how the students would make their thinking visible in the form of a summative project. They reviewed the pros and cons of using apps on the iPad to produce screencast videos or ebooks. Ebooks made the cut and a rubric drawn from the six traits of writing was created to include a section on presentation skills to measure student understanding of design principles taught in their ICL lessons. The students started their research using laptops and the PebbleGo online database. After getting feedback on their note taking, the students began to plan their pages of their ebook, which drew directly from the graphic organizer. They would use their notes in paragraphs written in their English class to voice record into their pages. The ebook app called Book Creator would be the tool to make their thinking visible. The students were presented a list of the pages for their book. They used their organizational skills to plan the content for each page. Part of their planning and research was to access the Britannica ImageQuest database for images. Students engaged their visual literacy to find images and download pictures that connected to the content of their pages. They realized the power of the Book Creator app in that they would have multiple ways to represent their thinking. Just as with Pebble Go and how it supported universal design for learning, the Book Creator app supported the UDL principle of differentiating ways for students to express their understanding. They drew images, found photographs, typed in text, and recorded their voices all to communicate their learning about their weather topic. A storyboard graphic organizer provided further scaffolding for the students as they sketched images of photos they wanted in their ebooks, as well as a listing of the main ideas that they would record with each image. While a great deal of research took place during ICL class time, the students also were working in their English class, reading books, writing paragraphs about the main concepts of the unit, and even communicating in the blogosphere. On a daily basis, the students accessed a weather website, gathering information, to then post their forecast to their class blog. Additional collaboration continued throughout the unit as the ICL team and the teachers touch base. The opportunity to have students include their poems about their weather in the ebooks came up as well as a connection with the art curriculum. The art teacher developed a series of lessons connecting her curriculum to that of the weather unit. The students painted beautiful abstract works of art that were included in their ebooks. Let's learn more about the learning in art class. The students focused on color mixing in art class during the weather unit. They inquired into the abstract art of Arshil Gorky and how he would use colors, shapes, lines, and textures to lead the viewer's eye throughout a composition. Students created impressionistic to abstract paintings of the weather system that they were inquiring into. They thought about what colors, values and hues, shapes, lines, and textures one would feel if the person was in the middle of the weather system. Using primary colors, secondary colors, as well as black and white, the students mixed and created a wide variety of differing hues and values. Students were thinkers in how they placed their colors, shapes, lines, and textures throughout their paintings to create a strong composition. As mentioned at the start of this video, the Information and Communication Literacies ICL curriculum supports the primary years program in many ways. What you see here is a listing of the ICL learning outcomes that were integrated into the weather unit. The ICL and homeroom teachers worked together to teach the ICL learning outcomes. Finding, analyzing, and curating information to then engage one's creativity and communicate understanding is at the center of the ICL curriculum. We work with students to develop their information, visual, media, and technology literacies, revisiting the learning outcomes over time to guide the students to gain comfort and fluency in each as they move on to the middle school.
I hope you like this book. It's going to be all about blizzards, so it's going to be a bit sad. Lightning is kind of, it kind of glows and it is very hot, fast and bright and it is very loud. The strike of lightning may be a mile long or even longer. Lightning sometimes sounds like an empty tongue. Did you know lightning is electricity? It flashes in the sky and brings tall, dark clouds. Lightning is five times hotter than the sun. Low temperature is needed for a blizzard. Tons of wind, water, and snow put together is needed. Rain can cause lots of accidents because it can cause hurricanes and floods and more dangerous things. Rain is important because if you don't have the rain, you and animals can die. And when you have no water, it's called a drought. Rain helps a lot of things. It can help trees grow and animals can drink that water too. Rain helps the world. So rain can help the world. This is a picture of a snowstorm. I like the colors in it. And that's why I picked it. Also, because everyone loves snow. I did it in my art class, and it was very fun. Blizzard. <laughs> Blinding whiteouts. Lingering sorrow. Irresistible force. Zooming wind. Zigzagging through the air. Anger slashing out windows, resolutions needed to restore the damage, and deafening roar. How do you know when there is a hurricane? On TV and on the radio, there are hurricane warnings. Fronts. Air masses. It goes in a circle motion and it goes bigger to smaller up to down. 